Let me show you this picture before the prophetic release. Go to all the world and preach the gospel. Lo, I am with you always. Always. You secure his companionship. Always. Hallelujah. When you are asleep, always. You are driving, always. <laughs> you are in a function, always. Every soul winner enjoys his companionship, always. That makes him unbeatable. My God. It makes him what? Unassaultable. Ah. He sent them to go and preach the gospel. And he was there walking with them with signs. Mark 16, 15 to 20. He gave the great commission and said, Lo, look here. That's what it means. I'm with you always, yes. even to the close of the age. You can't buy that with money. The reason the devil has not succeeded to assault my life is his presence. Ah. If God be for us, there is no other factor that guarantees his sustainable companionship like your passion for souls. He goes with you. He said, I saw, I was with you when I said to go now. I told you I was coming. I went with you. That you saw Satan falling. I saw Satan falling like lightning yes, yes, from heaven. Yes, yes, yes. He wasn't just uh, sub subjecting himself to you. He was falling. He was rolling on the floor. Sorry, 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 sorry. He was there. He was there. Exactly. Now, from today, everything you used to fear will start fearing you. Yeah. is the consciousness of his presence. My God, Hallelujah. I am over conscious of it. Yes. <laughs> My God, thy God whom thou service continually. As he helped you out, he said, yes, he sent his angel here. Mm. And the lions can't touch me. Yes. His companionship makes you untouchable, mm. indestructible. Yes. Any day, any time, anywhere. Thank you. Look at what you are to do. Look at what follows you. You won't feel you are doing anything, sir. That you have his companionship. If this man leaves me one second, the devil will celebrate in hell. But he's solid with me. Day and night. Day and night. By genuine passion for souls to be saved yes. as a lifestyle. Yes. As a lifestyle. He can tell you more stories. He's been with your motorbikes and borrowed motorbikes, of course. We don't have one. <laughs> Amen. In the valley, on the mountain, my God. Did we ever ask for things on those prayer missions? That, oh God, you know why we're here? All my friends have built houses. That's their calling. <laughs> I know my calling is to go after souls. Can I be asking for houses now? No. All these things shall be added. Mm -hmm. And it follows me so hard. Yes. So, my God. Some Mukoti powers came and they said, look, you can't get the church, get the man. And they testified he was far in the sky. We could not locate him. That's where you are going. Yeah. Do you have value for God's presence? Then engage with passion. Yes. Don't be a social member of this church. It won't pay you. You'll be tired in no time. <laughs> My God. Don't be a social member. Be a spiritual member. Don't be a title to be a member. You know what? I'm a pastor of Faith Tabernacle. 
Has God tabernacled with you? That's what we enjoy. In the air, big bang. Yes. Say, peace be still, my friend. Jesus is right here. <laughs> Jesus is right here. Jesus is right here. My God, are we on his mission? And we are entitled to his protection any day, any time. Yes. Casey, you remember? The journey to Kano? Yes, is it Casey? Journey to Kano that we had a problem in the air. God save your soul. <laughs> Amen. He's present. They say we have lost one engine. I said, would you guys like to have some snacks? <laughs> in the midst of turbulence. I said, yeah. <laughs> Consciousness of his presence by connecting with what he commands. Go to all the world. Preach the gospel. I came back from Madagascar one day and went to the field. Yes, 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 yes. As I arrived, I went to the field and I got some boys on the football pitch and led them to Christ. We had led them in church on Sunday morning. Glory to God. Maybe they are still here today. So over to you. I'll be returning like this. My wife will be going like that. Just returning and she's going. And I'm coming. She's going. I'm going. She's coming. That's how we have lived our life all these years. The secret behind my safety, my security, yes. my untouchability. Mm. You mention my name only, you have a dick. <laughs> and you just mention the name only. You have not said anything. <laughs> From now, wherever evil people mention your name, they will receive a knock of vengeance. <laughs> now, the good news is, every grace on this commission is released on your life. Right, guys, that was a very powerful video there by Bishop David Oedipo. Um, you're welcome to the commentary section of this video. Um, this is going to be a lengthy commentary, so let's dive in into this video. So, some time ago, we made a post regarding to um, God's servant Bishop David Abui and Bishop Oedipo, where he said that um, he said that if Bishop David Abui lives in the devil, rejoice in hell. And when we made this post, some persons didn't really understand the context of the post and um, they began to say some things actually. So now, this video basically is talking about God's servant um, Bishop Oedipo's experiences, the experience he, has, he had in ministry. So he is now relating it um, to the physical life and also with that of Bishop Abue how he has been with him from time immemorial so now there's been a lot of questions going on asking oh bishop david abue has now retired from winners can he still be part of winners and all so i want to explain this on the commentary section it is no news again that bishop david abue is retired from winners however um after this commentary i'm gonna make a video I'm going to post a video where it was explained by the mandate, uh, the mandate secretary of Linfield Church that any pastor that is retired in Winners Chapel can reapply to remain in service. However, you will not be able to um, hold key positions. For example, Bishop David Abbe and Naremu may no longer be able to be vice president of Winners Chapel because of how demanding those positions are and uh, with their age so they may not be able to travel around they may not be able to do some certain things they might just be uh, limited to a certain um, position and they also said that they would be under the mission inspection now if you are familiar with the winners chapel you understand that there is something called a mission mission inspection mis and i think the vice president for that is pastor emmanuel agi the state pastor um abuja do me abuja so 
they will be on that mission inspection and if you're familiar with mission inspection you understand that mission inspection pastors do not really have a specific station so they either go from this church to this church and that church now a lot of persons are also asking that this is god's work that why will people retire and things like that now this is a set order by the ministry to enable younger pastors serve in some key positions in that way to also help um, for innovations for new technologies for new insights for new administration you understand so that we don't have cases where people are in one positions for life and all except the founder so i'm going to put the video after this explaining what the mandate secretary said that um, makes us understand that god's servant bishop david abue and Arebu can still be in leaders but they cannot hold official duties they cannot hold official positions however I still want to believe that even though they resign the winners, they still own their respect as bishops because these men are great men, great men of order, great men of wisdom, great men of understanding that has done a lot of amazing things in the body of Christ. So that's why being retired, they are not retired from ministry, but they just retired um, as leaders in winners chapel. So God will help us so we can keep waxing strong in the body of Christ and wisdom for um, leadership may be granted upon God's servants in Shakuri in the name of Jesus. Alright guys, after this commentary you'll be watching the uh, video from the, the mandate secretary, Pastor Labisi, ADBC sorry, so you could understand where we are coming from. God bless you guys, have a good time. In the light of the above and as our custom is, we hold valedictory services in honor of those who have reached the retirement age of 60 years. One was held for Bishop Thomas Aremu just this past Tuesday at Ibadan. Another one was held at Adwekiti for one of the senior pastors. What we are doing here tonight is not new, but part of the set order in this system. Valedictory services like these is an avenue to congratulate the celebrant for a successful tenure in the service of this commission. Valedictory service like this is a platform for the celebrant to express his experience with God in the course of his service here in this commission. And most of all, a valedictory service like this is an avenue for the impartation of grace on the celebrant as he sets out to his new face of life so he can continue to occupy till Jesus comes. Someone say loud amen. Further to this, someone may ask, after retirement, what next? This commission has a provision for elongated service scheme, which is an opportunity for those who want to continue in their services in this commission. And interested retirees have applied under this scheme. And up to now, over 31 retirees have been enlisted in that scheme to the glory of God and still counting. However, we must note that no retiree in this commission can hold any official portfolio because of the demand of duty in this commission. Therefore, the core tax of any retiree pastor under the elongated service scheme is the oversight function under the Mission Inspectorate Service Platform which we call the MIS. In addition, there are a number of our retirees who have been connected and have stayed connected to this commission as active members of the church where they live. Those of them who are also in pursuit of the ministry they have received of the Lord have been very much connected to this commission as was observed during the 70th birthday of our Father in the Lord, the Bishop David Oedipo, which held recently. By the policy of this commission, only the founder has a lifetime tenor, except where he decides to step down. Tonight, someone is returning with the grace for order 
and the grace for continuity in the name of Jesus Christ. If that is you, let your amen be louder.